Before we go any further, let's be clear. This information is for your protection, not for misuse. The techniques discussed here are illegal to use against others without consent and can lead to serious consequences. Your phone number is more than just digits. It's a digital key to your identity. It links your real-world self to your online presence, connecting social media, email, banking, and even your address. Every service you sign up for with your number is a potential vulnerability. Hackers don't need to break into your phone, they just follow the digital breadcrumbs your number leaves behind. With it, they can find your accounts, your friends, and piece together your life. Your phone number is now a gateway to your digital existence. If someone can track your phone, they can track you, your routines, habits, and locations. This information in the wrong hands is dangerous. It can lead to stalking, harassment, or worse. The tools to exploit phone numbers are more accessible than ever, lowering the barrier for criminals. It's not just elite hackers, anyone with determination can invade your privacy. Understanding this risk is the first step to protecting yourself. Stop seeing your phone number as just a number. It's a direct link to your life. Guard it accordingly. The most effective hacking tool isn't code, it's manipulation. Social engineering uses your phone number to trick you, often by impersonating trusted sources. A hacker might call, pretending to be your bank or a delivery service, asking you to click a link or share information. That link could steal your credentials or install malware, giving them access to your location. They gather personal details from your public profiles to make their lies more convincing. For example, a call from IT at your company, referencing a real colleague, can easily lower your guard. Always be skeptical of unsolicited calls, texts, or emails, no matter how convincing. Legitimate organizations won't ask for sensitive info or software installs over the phone. If in doubt, hang up and verify using official contact details. Never trust contact info provided by the caller. Your skepticism is your best defense. Stay alert to the art of deception. Caller ID spoofing lets anyone disguise their number, making it look like a trusted contact. Hackers use this to impersonate banks, schools, or even family, exploiting your trust. For example, a spoofed call from your child's school could trick you into revealing your location. The technology is cheap and easy to access. No expertise required. It's not just spies. Anyone with a motive can use it. To protect yourself, always verify unexpected or unusual requests, even from familiar numbers. If your bank calls, hang up and dial the official number. If a family member calls in distress, call them back directly. Never take incoming calls at face value when sensitive info is at stake. That extra step of verification can protect you from deception. Stay cautious. Caller ID can be faked. Trust, but always verify. Spyware is the most direct and terrifying way your phone number can be used against you. Malicious apps can secretly monitor your calls, texts, photos, and real-time location. Often it starts with a simple trick, a text with a link that once clicked, installs spyware without your knowledge. Sometimes all it takes is someone briefly accessing your phone to install these hidden apps. Marketed as parental controls, they become tools for stalking in the wrong hands. Signs of infection are subtle fast battery drain, unexplained data use, or odd messages. If you suspect spyware, perform a full factory reset to wipe your device clean. It's drastic, but necessary for your safety. Don't ignore the warning signs. Protect your phone like your life depends on it, because sometimes it does. Stay vigilant. Meet Sarah, a graphic designer who made one small mistake, posting her phone number in an online ad. A man used her number to find her social media and personal info through data brokers. He spoofed a call from a local business to trick her into confirming her address. Then, posing as a fellow designer, he sent her a link that installed spyware on her phone. Suddenly, he had a live feed of her location and daily routine. Sarah noticed strange calls a car parked outside, and felt constantly watched. Her sense of safety vanished. Thankfully, she confided in a friend, went to the police, and the stalker was caught. 
But it all started with her phone number in a public place. This story shows how data brokers, social engineering, spoofing, and spyware can combine to destroy privacy. One small mistake can escalate quickly. Protect your number. Don't make it easy for predators. Stay cautious about what you share online. Your privacy is worth defending. Learn from Sarah's story. Now let's talk defense. Treat your phone number like a password. Never post it publicly or share it unnecessarily. Use a secondary number from services like Google Voice for online signups or temporary contacts. If that number is compromised, you can easily replace it. Be skeptical of all incoming messages and calls, especially urgent requests. Never click unknown links or download attachments from strangers. Always verify requests independently, hang up and call back using official numbers. Regularly review privacy settings on your accounts. Hide your phone number from public view. Set who can find you by your number to friends only, or only me. Enable two-factor authentication wherever possible for extra security. These habits make you a much harder target. Stay proactive. Your privacy depends on it. Build your digital walls high. Want even more protection? Use a VPN to encrypt your phone's internet traffic and hide your IP address. Conduct a personal security audit, search your name and number online to see what's exposed. Use opt-out procedures or services to remove your info from data broker sites. Review your phone's location permissions. Only allow apps access when necessary. Turn off location for apps that don't need it. Be mindful of photo metadata. GPS coordinates can be embedded in your pictures. Strip this data before sharing photos online. Some platforms do this automatically but don't rely on it. Every layer of privacy you add makes you safer. Take control of your digital footprint. Don't let hidden data put you at risk. Stay one step ahead. We've seen how a phone number can unravel your life through manipulation, spoofing, and spyware. Sarah's story is a warning. These threats are real and widespread, but knowledge is your shield, not your weapon. Use it to protect, never to harm. Law enforcement can trace digital attacks. Don't think you're invisible. The consequences for misuse are severe. Treat your phone number with care, use secondary numbers, and stay skeptical of unsolicited messages. Lock down your privacy settings and stay vigilant. Security starts with awareness, and you've taken that step today. The digital world will keep evolving, but the basics of good security remain. Be cautious, be critical, and be proactive. Your privacy is precious. Fight to protect it. Stay safe out there.